So this coin question, I've had a lot of um, people email me and ask me about it. It's, it's a very odd question, right? And again, they have this timeline. This, I think, the third question in a row. I'm doing the timeline, right? But this is an actual inference, okay? Actual inference, okay? And also, this is, I believe, the first time that I've seen that without our, um, using a graphic a table or a chart, you have to think somewhat mathematically. So not only is this actual inference, but this is in the reading, right? Mathematical inference. Okay, I'm going to emphasize because we have to make uh, mathematical inferences all the time in the math section and also in the, you know, the, the, when they get tables and charts and stuff. But this is non-table. This is non-quantitative, but you have to make a mathematical inference anyway. Okay, so let's look at this question, guys. We have a lot of words here. And unfortunately, when you have most logically completes a text, that means technically College Board thinks this is an inference question, which does mean we do have to skim through the whole thing. Am I going to right now? No, because I already know this question. So there is a problem. Okay. <clears throat> there was a crisis that was relieved because of decision to do something. So there was a problem and the problem was fixed. So this is something that would, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> been very sick. Very, very sick lately. Um, so this would be an inference that would potentially fix a problem. But what is the problem? Let's find out. So um, a coin in 450, 98%, and then coin in 367 is 74, okay? And it's yellow. And this is unsuitable, a uh, uh, crisis in confidence. So essentially, this is saying that the 367 coins, yeah, not enough silver. Percentage, that's that's a key, right? And therefore, it's yellow, and it's bad. What's wrong with yellow? I think yellow is a great color, right, guys? Ah, so with these problems, most of the time, you can get rid of like two of them, right? Um, kind of like off the bat. All right, so, um, oh, I don't mean to. D is out because the whole problem is that there's not enough silver in these coins. The percentage of silver is too low for the 367 BCE coins. That's why the coins are bad. Why would I want more copper? That doesn't make sense, okay? And then C, you get heavier coins with the same proportion. If it's the same proportion to the one in 367, that's literally the bad one. That's the one at 74.2. I need to be below, above 80. Why would I do that? Yeah. So C and D, you can eliminate almost immediately. Ah, this is typically the case. Like I said, you can get rid of half the answer choices. They're just terrible answers. I mean, if you pick them, you know, don't feel bad. But these are honestly kind of really bad answers. Again, uh, the problem is that the, there's not enough silver in these coins. The silver percentage is too low. So there's also too much copper, which is making it look yellow. And people don't like yellow, apparently. So um, we got rid of D because that would mean, why would I want more copper? I want more silver, okay? And C, I don't want the same proportion of silver as a 367 because 367 was the bad one. That was a yellow one. It would still be yellow. So between A and B. I thought previously when I saw this um, uh, with student questions that perhaps A could be the answer. Perhaps, perhaps. But... B exists and B is a better answer. Why? A is wrong because this just says he would he proclaims that the percentage will be raised. <clears throat> but did he actually raise it? I don't know. That's not the best evidence. Okay. If compared to C and D, A is better, right? So if B didn't exist, A would be the best answer here. But just saying that I'm gonna raise it doesn't necessarily mean like when people run for uh, office in like school, like I remember when I was in like high school, everyone's like, if I become president of our high school, I'll make sure we get like, what? What, what can you even promise as a high schooler, right? I, I promise we'll get better school lunch or something. Everybody said that, right? And nothing ever happened. So the answer here is B. Why is it B? Keep the amount of silver the same, but decrease their weight. Now, this is actually mathematical inference, which is very new for the uh, uh, reading portion, okay? So, 
um, if I have the proportion, so how does the percentage here work? Let's do solve a little math, right? Silver <coughs> plus copper divided by, no, silver percentage would be silver divided by silver plus copper. That would be my percentage, right? So this, uh, and but if I have silver, this becomes smaller. That's what they're saying, right? If I decrease the weight of the coin, that means a C is going down, right? Because the coin is just made up of silver and copper. The silver is the same, but this is lighter. So I must be using less copper. That's the logic part here. So if I lower the copper, <clears throat> then it's a higher percentage in silver. It's just how it works mathematically, right? We made the denominator smaller by making this smaller, so the percentage goes up. So the answer here is B. And they did the typical thing uh, of the paraphrase. If they just said, actually increase the percentage of silver, then that would have been my easy, easy answer, right? But they didn't do that, right? They don't um, just give you that on the advanced questions. So what did they do instead? They said they are going to decrease the weight of the thing, which means they're decreasing the copper, which means the percentage of silver is going up, right? You see those levels of inference? So that's our answer here. Again, an actual mathematical inference. Pretty odd, pretty new in terms of SAT category type, but not new because it actually was on a real test and it was on test seven as well. So that's how it is. Um, yeah, if you guys have seen questions like this, uh, similar questions when you have to make a mathematical inference on a uh, non-table question, let me know because I would be pretty interested in going over them. And as always, let me know what you guys want to see covered. Leave them in the Google Drive, leave them in the comments, send the screenshot, whatever it is. I'll get there so y'all can study every day with who, with sex, today. That's the best way y'all already know. Bye-bye.